Okay, on today's show, we're gonna have pork butt. We're gonna have my sister's favorite recipe of chicken shish kebab. Then my mother will be over in a little while to cook a okra casserole. But first things first, we gotta get the charcoal going. So I never use lighter fluid. It leaves a residue inside your smoker or your grill. If you've ever tasted it, that's the problem. It'll get up in there on the sides and you can't get it out. Get you one of these little chimney things here and uh, they work really, really well. Let's get the charcoal going. These things will pay for themselves after about two, after two uh, cookouts that you have. All you gotta do is have a couple of pieces of newspaper. And you just ladder up. Let's start off with the pork. It's pretty simple to cook some of the best pork butts you've ever had if you've got the right smoker. Of course, we're using the Backwoods Smoker out of Louisiana, and we'll show you how that works here in a few minutes. The pork butt, two simple ingredients, black pepper and salt. First thing I do is take a little salt. Salt her down pretty good here. Roll it over and really drench it in black pepper. I coat it, I coat it completely with black pepper. It won't be as hot as you think it is. Okay, now the charcoal's about ready. Gotta be very careful because it gets hot. You dump it in. Dump it in the bottom down there. And uh, I always have down here in the south, we're in Texas today cooking, we got lots of pecans. So any kind of any kind of hardwood or fruit wood, a pecan's one of the good ones. Uh, I always lay about three pieces of wood on. My pan for, for uh, water, just slide it in. Pour the water in. Lay it on there. Close your doors. Open up your dampers. This one here has got dampers here. Dampers at the side. I open them up all the way. And you will find out with the backwood smoker that you can cook quicker. So the 12 hours, cut it down to about six hours. It's all about the heat, the quality of heat coming out of your smoker here. Okay, while we're waiting on the pork butt to get finished on the backwood uh, smoker over here, uh, my sister has got a concoction. We're gonna make some hors d'oeuvres and we've got the chipotle peppers in adobe sauce. Very important ingredient right here. And we're gonna go ahead and make that up and then we're gonna prepare our chicken. But what we do is you get a two tablespoons of lemon, put it in over here. That's about two tablespoons of lemon. You get uh, two tablespoons of your favorite maple syrup, give or take. Now then, mm, very good. Um, take some cilantro, cut up some fresh cilantro, about two tablespoons or more to taste. Put that in here. This is all gonna be your sauce. And uh, get in here. Stir it up a little bit, get it marinating a little, mixing all those flavors together. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of these peppers, the chipotle peppers, we're gonna cut them in half a little bit and dig the seeds out. Of course, if you like real hot, you leave the seeds in. We take the chicken, of course, we're using chicken breast on this, and you, the best thing to use, what we had the other day, is some uh, thighs. You can use thighs, works real good. Um, now then, cut it into strips, and you get your, um, your peppers that you just chopped up, and you put them in the middle just a little bit. Now this stuff's pretty warm. Now then, 
you roll these up and you start making you start making your shish kebab of course we got two types of bell pepper and onion you can put tomatoes on there okay now that you got them all made you take your sauce kind of mop it on there you like this you can do this with duck talk about making duck taste really awesome now then go over here to our backwood smoker and pull out a grate and just start loading it on. Okay, we'll shut it down. We bring it back up to about 250 and let them cook for about two hours. And while we're doing that, we're gonna go over with my mother and let her cook that okri salad, whatever it is. Okay, what we're making, what are we making? Making a um, okra fried salad. Right there is okra. We're gonna chop it up. Okay, and you're gonna fix up. What all goes in the okra here? Uh, we, corn, I cornmeal it and then I put it in hot grease and fry, let it fry. Well, that's the first thing we that's do. That's the first thing you do. Am I chopping this right? Uh-huh. Okay, we just about got all the okra chopped. Now then, put the okra right here. Mm -hmm. All right, now then. And then we uh, put this cornmeal over it. Okay. Folks, this is a southern dish, okay? Okay, it's ready to go in there. All right, now then just dump it in the frying pan and we're ready to go. Fried okra, folks. All right. Now what do you do? Okay, now we're gonna put our onion in there. Okay. And then we put our bell pepper in there. All right. And then we uh, put our tomatoes that we've chopped up those in there. Alright. And then we stir that up. And then we take take our oil. What kind of oil is that? With, uh, vegetable oil, mm -hmm. Crisco with vegetable oil and vinegar and sugar. And take and uh, mix it up. And uh, then you pour it over, over this. Fry some bacon. Crisp, and then you just sprinkle that over the top of it just like that, and then you eat it. That, that is a southern dish right here from the family, folks. Okay, this ought to be completely done. First, we're going to pull off the Boston butt. Well, some people call it the pork butt. And all of the Just kebab. I tell you folks, if you've never tried smoking shish kebab on a really good, it's all about the smoker. Check them out, Backwoods Smoker. Now let's get back to the show.